Denver has to pay up big time, $14 million to 12 people over the police department's use of force during protests over the murder of George Floyd. A jury ruled in favor of protesters today who say DPD violated their civil rights and used excessive force when officers used tear gas and fired pepper balls at them back in 2020. Lawyers for the city say violence and destruction during those protests required a response. They say protests caused millions of dollars in property damage and said dozens of officers were hit by rocks and other projectiles. Protesters and attorneys spoke after today's ruling, calling it a win for future cases as well. There's no amount of money that's going to undo the harm that Denver police did to our city, but uh, I think it's a, a very important piece of validation that we were on the right side of history and that this kind of behavior is completely unacceptable. It is just an amazing precedent, not only in Denver, but this is the first lawsuit arising out of a uh, violation of protesters' rights that happened over the summer of 2020 to go to trial in the country. And so it's a good precedent, excellent precedent, not only for the city of Denver, but for all other such cases around the country. Denver City Council has also settled other lawsuits connected to the protest, totaling more than $1.3 million. We have more on the lawsuit and today's decision on our website and 9 News app.